We've spent some time writing proofs, but I'd like to practice a little bit the art of reading proofs, since this is a skill that took me a long time to develop. Reading a proof is a lot like debugging a program, since you have to go very slowly through each line and think carefully about what each sentence is doing and juggle in your head kind of all the variables you've defined and the definitions of everything in the, the statement. So it's, it's worth going through and I'll just read some proofs and kind of let you in on my internal monologue, like speak my thought process aloud as I read the proofs to see kind of how you should parse them. So let's just review, since it's been a while since we've pr proven anything, but any proof has the same basic form, right? So we always write a statement which we signal by writing theorem with a period, usually underlined or bold, and it always has, has the form if and then some set of assumptions. So these are things that we uh, assume or suppose are true, and then there's this then or some equivalent word and a conclusion. So every theorem will uh, have this, this structural form that you assume something is true and then you show something else must necessarily be true. And the proof of the theorem basically always has the same form as well. You always begin by signaling your assumptions, so you usually repeat the assumptions in the theorem. So you would say suppose whatever the assumptions were. Uh, sometimes if we're being a little uh, sloppy, it's common to omit this first sentence because it's kind of, uh, you can you can kind of tell just because it was written in the theorem a line above. Sometimes you won't rewrite the assumptions, but I mean, to be perfectly uh, correct and proper, I'm going to restate the assumptions in the proofs. Uh, after you suppose those assumptions, then there's a series of sentences that are logical deductions. So each of those sentences is going to say something which must be true if we assume everything we've said so far is true. So each of these is one more step. You, you add one more statement, which must be true. So that could be then a deduction, hence another deduction, then dot, dot, dot. Maybe you have a few more deductions. And at the end, you deduce the conclusion that you were trying to show. Good, so this is what basically all, all proofs are going to look like. And as we read these, there's kind of a certain mental protocol that you should go through, a certain habit of mind. So every time you look at a new theorem, before you even start reading it, uh, reading the proof, you should ask yourself a few questions. Uh, since all theorems are assumptions, therefore conclusion, you should, before reading, make sure you're very clear on what are the assumptions precisely, what is the conclusion this theorem is claiming, and what are the definitions of all the words and symbols in the statement of the theorem. So for instance, if the theorem is something about even and odd, you have to ask yourself, can I write down the exact definition of even and odd? So for instance, n is even if n equals 2k for some integer k. You have to know exactly the definition rather than just having a vague idea of oh, even numbers are 2, 4, 6, because a theorem needs to use a precise definition. So this is the checklist to do before you start reading. While you're reading, you need to stop and you'll probably need to reread and think about every sentence multiple times because proofs are very dense, just like a programming language. So as you read each sentence, you have to ask, what is this sentence doing? Is this stating an assumption or is this a logical deduction, which must be true because of all of the things we've assumed before? If it is a deduction, do you understand why it's true? Can you explain how that follows from the previous assumptions? Sometimes sentences in proofs will be explanation, so this is just guidance text that doesn't actually deduce anything, but it signals where the proof is going. So as you read each sentence, you have to be clear which of these is it, and once I know which one it is, do I understand why that sentence is being included? What is the goal of that sentence?